Welcome everyone to another video. I just want to quickly walk you through some easy steps on how to zip and unzip files here in Windows 10. And the use case for this is if you have a long list of files that you want to share, for example, you want to send via email, this is a great way to compress them down to make it easier to send as well as to get around limitations on size. Now I'm going to show you how to do this natively in Windows 10 so you will not need to download or install anything. What you will need to do is locate the files that you want to compress and then just go ahead and click and drag to select all of them or you can hold down the control button and just click on each individual file till they are all selected. Once you have that just go ahead and right click on one of them and you'll notice if you go down to send to there is a compressed zip folder option just go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to create a new folder here. So if I right click on it and go to rename, I'm just going to call this uh, fruit. You can call yours whatever you need to. And at this point it is now compressed and ready to go. We can just attach this folder to, for example, an email and send it to whoever needs it. If I double click on it, we can see that the files are all in that compressed folder. Now let's say that you've received a zipped folder and you need to unzip it and extract all of the files. What you can do, well, there's a couple different options. First off, you can just double click on the folder. And if we select all of the files here, we can just click and drag them over to uh, whichever folder or location we want to put them in. And then if I click here, we can see that all of our files are now located here. Now there is a different option. If I delete these and go back, we can also just come over to our folder and right click and there will be an extract all option. It will ask us for the location that we want to use and so I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to click on the pictures folder, click select folder and then we'll leave this box checked so it will show us the files after we extract them and then I'm going to click on extract and we can see all of our files are now in our pictures folder. Now just a quick note, if you come to the folder and right click and do not have the extract all option, here's a couple things that you can check for. First off, come down to the Windows Start menu and type in default and look for the default app settings option and click on it. And then here in this window, scroll down to the bottom and there will be a couple options to check defaults by protocol and defaults by file type. Let's go to protocol first and click on it. And then if you scroll down the left hand column, look for this option that says explore.zip selection. Just make sure that it's set to Windows Explorer. If it's not, you can click on it and change it and then click the back option. And then if we go back down, this time click on default apps by file type. And the file type we are looking for is .zip, so it's going to be all the way at the bottom. Now some of you will not have it listed here and you don't need to worry about it, but if you do have .zip listed here, make sure that it's also set to Windows Explorer. After that, you should be able to come back, right click, and should have the extract all option. If you still don't have it at that point, it probably means you have a third party program installed such as WinRAR or WinZip or 7-Zip. So you may want to consider possibly uninstalling those or just using those programs as the option for zipping and unzipping files and folders. That's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.